In this tutorial, we'll create a lens blur transition in After Effects without using any plugins, so let's jump right in. As you guys can see, I've got two videos on the timeline. Let's go ahead and make the transition. The first thing you want to do is go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer. Then open up Effects and Presets window. If it's not available, go to Window dropdown and make sure that the Effects and Presets is checked. Here you search for Camera Lens Blur, add it to the Adjustment Layer, then search for Exposure and also add it to the Adjustment Layer. Then move the playhead to the point of the cut between the videos and move 10 frames to the left. You can hold shift and press page up key once to move 10 frames to the left and create keyframes for blur radius and exposure. Make sure that blur radius is set to zero though. Then press U on the keyboard to see the keyframes on the timeline. Move to the point of the cut between the videos. Increase the blur radius as you see fit. Usually 50 looks good. I'm going to set mine to 50 and exposure to 1.5. Then move 10 frames to the right from the cut so you can hold shift and this time press page down key to do that and set the values back to zero. Now drag and select all six keyframes, right click any of them, keyframe assistant is easy so you can press F9 as a shortcut. So while the keyframes are selected, go to the graph editor by clicking this button. If your graph looks different, right click and make sure you're in edit speed graph. Then drag and select the first point to the left and you'll see the handle. Drag it all the way to the right, make sure to hold shift so it snaps into place. Then select the last keyframe to the right and drag its handle all the way to the left. So in the end, your graph should look like this. And believe it or not, the transition is ready and you can exit the graph editor and preview the transition. So it might be a bit heavy while previewing because of the camera lens blur. It does take quite a lot of resources, but it is the best built-in blur available. So just give it some time. And that's how our lens blur transition looks. Pretty awesome considering how easy it is to make it. If you enjoyed this quick tutorial, please do not forget to leave a like. That really helps out the channel. Also, do let me in the comments which transition you would like to see next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.